Hey guys, this is Dinak, and for the third time today, we are going to be um, discussing AVS Video Editor 4.2, the free version. It has a media library storing its uh, videos, your images, your audio, and with a um, another cool feature, color, which you can add different types of colors, any of them, and it's like the how you know. You know the drill. Um, transitions is better than Windows Movie Maker because it has a lot more transitions. Um, uh, I believe it has like over 50. I don't know. Um, effects, it doesn't have ma that many, but it has more than Windows Movie Maker, including the ones they have, plus more. Um, such as the Ripple, um, the Newsprint, the Snow. Pencil sketch, glow, glass, sepia, old movie, and all that. It has a text overlay, which uh, has some custom things. Um, and it's also got an audio mixer, which is it's just, um, it's just, uh, just to speed it up or, you know, do something else. It also has a built in voice recorder, um, the volume, you can change the volume up higher, lower, whatever, source, um, you get to choose that, um, format, and the options. Now, chapters is good for cutting the video in half, and, um, basically, um, choosing where, uh, choosing where you want to cut it in half. Now, let's go to the video overlay, one of the most, um, important things of this program that it does. So what you want to do is, say you want to put, um, like, uh, actually as what the buck has. Uh, he has, um, in his videos, he has pictures that come up in the right corner of his screen. You can do that here, too, but, um, this is just going to be a similar thing. Um, we're going to use a picture, though. Um, we're going to use a computer, and we're going to put a video over it. So we're going to take it, th we're going to drag this picture into our main video, or you can take your video, and then add the thing that you want to go over it. So then, once you're ready, you want to double-click the overlaid video, and it will give you this. Um, drag it to however you want it. Now, like I said, what the buck has, I will show you. Um, you can basically have it fade in and draw it so it goes up in the corner, and you could be talking right there if you like to do that. Um, let's just mess this up to make it look good. Now, um, what we're going to be doing is um, choosing the fade in effect. Um, let's use uh, the burning fire because that one looks pretty cool. And let's choose. Um, let's use one that they don't have. S this one looks cool. Alright, so what you're going to do is um, this is choosing how you want it to fade in. Fade out. First of all, if you want to select, which you can choose your fade in, you just press it, and that's it. It's um, and then press it again, and that's how long it takes with the two clicks. In the time between the two clicks, that's how long it takes for it to f start fading in, and then fade completely. You know, it's completely faded in, as I'll show you. And then boom, and now it's going, and you want to select your uh, fading out. Let's just make a right there, and then let's select it there. Hold on, I'm having a little lag. All right, so it's uh, faded in, and then it plays the video, and then you choose when it's um, starting to fade out, and once it's completely faded out, the video, um, the video will stop. Uh, let's show it to you on the main thing. Now, you can make way better things than I just did. This is just uh, showing you some cool things you can do with it. Showing the video and then having it canceled out with um, um, some, some other cool things you can do with this. Please ignore that. Um, 
the volume and balance. You can mess around with that. Um, also with the clips. Um, switch uh, has storyboard just.